A couple of years ago, I made it a goal to visit all of the 50 US states before I turned 50 years old. I love to travel and create videos. So with that being said, welcome to my travel experience. The state of Colorado is known for its many world-class ski resorts throughout the Rocky Mountains. So I felt it was appropriate to go to a few. Subaru. When I was 17, Winter Park was the first resort I've ever ridden in Colorado. And my family and I got to spend a few days here for our winter break. But with the lift tickets being $250 a day and me being the only one with the season pass, I was the only one that actually got to snowboard. After the first day of riding, we took some time to explore Winter Park Village. We're trying to find me a sticker. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the stickers. <laughs> he looks terrified. The second day of riding was pretty much similar to the first day, with most of the mountain being pretty icy. Yo, VIP. Let's kick it. Our final day at Winter Park allowed for me to ride for a few hours before heading home. Ladies and gentlemen, we're finally riding Mary Jane. Everyone needs a little Mary Jane in their life, if you know what I mean. Anyways, it's icy, the views are behind me. We're gonna take one more run down Mary Jane, and then I'll be done filming because it's time to head back to Grand Junction, Colorado. Yes, sir.
Yes, you heard that correctly. Home. Remember when I said that we were moving? It's okay if you don't, but basically we used to live here and now we live here. Okay, you're all caught up. Sweet. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a few days since we came back from Winter Park. Did Christmas. Celebrated, you know, all the good stuff. And now it's snowing a little bit. I'm doing a little hometown tour of Grand Junction and I could whine and complain about it or I could just show you all of the wine. How's that for a transition? Hi, it's me, the doctor. If you're sad, just be happy. This is Colorado National Monument. Uh, since it's snowing, you can't really see all the rock formations and stuff. It's pretty cool. You can take this road up and around. There's a drive that goes all the way through this mesa and everything. It's pretty cool. Uh, since it's snowing, I don't know if I should go up there. I don't know, I might check it out, but I'm pretty sure you also have to pay like 20 bucks just to get in. This isn't a national park, but it is run by the NPS, which means that it kind of is at the same time. It's basically the Pluto of national parks. Okay, so I lied. The road isn't closed because I am clearly on it right now. But yeah, it's a pretty cool drive. This road down here, car comes up around here. There's a whole bunch of cool rock formations that I'll show you in about five seconds. I've come up here when I was like little, when I was younger. Pretty cool drive, cool rocks. This place rocks. Yeah, man, not a whole lot of visibility because I decided to do this tour on a snow day. You would be able to see some cool stuff right back here. Some rock formations, but the clouds are in the way. So I'm gonna head back down, find some more stuff to explore in Grand Junction. I will see you at the bottom. Hello, I've made it down the mountain and found the Colorado River. It might not be the prettiest view, but it's still the Colorado River. And then of course, if I turn the camera this way, you can't even really see it. The Mesa, look at that. Zoom in, adjust Mesa. Woo. Found, a, uh, found a cool skate park. If I knew how to ride, a lot better. I probably would enjoy the skate park a lot. There's a lot of cool features in around and everything, but I don't even know if I can really ollie anymore. It's been like such a long time. I guess there's only one way to find out. This is the doctor's office. They'll take care of you really well when you get hurt. And this is Main Street in downtown Grand Junction. We are now going to walk down it and explore it. Downtown Grand Junction comes complete with Christmas lights, snowy fish statues, even more Christmas lights, shoe store, music store, nomad store, Mr. Buddha, old French trading co with more Christmas lights. These ones are pretty. An art studio where you can art and even do your own painting. CBD infused ice cream because we love weed. Antiques, bagels, Christmas lights, movie theater complete with rooster and I guess there's a frisbee golf course around here somewhere. I'm not sure. Never mind, I figured it out. Record store that sells the Christmas story leg lamp and frisbee golfs, apparently. The hog candy shop, Main Street Cafe. This one actually look kind of good. I don't know. Electrical boxes that are painted to look like aquariums. This thing that we will call art. The bank. And a girl that got dressed up to bike in the snowy weather with her booty shorts and a nice scarf and whatever you call that. I am so cold and I am out of daylight and I am ready to go home. Goodbye. This has been the tour of Grand Junction and I will see you in the next part of the video. I forgot what it was going to be because I'm so cold. The wonderful thing about my ski pass is that I have access to multiple mountains. I've always wanted to ride Copper Mountain and almost had the chance when I was about 12, but we didn't have the money. Fast forward 10 years and I still don't have the money, but somehow I ended up here. Uh oh, I'm at Copper Mountain. It's snowing. It's gonna be a good day. We're here to snowboard. I'm putting a moderate amount of trust into my iPhone and GoPro. Let's see what happens. So, this mountain is very important to me because I've been wanting to ride here for years now. Ever since I got into snowboarding, I really wanted to come to Colorado. And then one time we drove past this mountain on our way to, I think, my grandpa's house, like when I was maybe 13, 14. And I almost rode here, though we didn't have the money, whatever. But now things have changed, still don't have the money, but now I'm at Copper Mountain and it's about to be life changing. I'm gonna hook up my GoPro. I'm gonna get some nice fun lines and just have a awesome day.
love the mountain, but there was also other reasons why I chose to drive nearly three hours away to snowboard. Today was the day before New Year's Eve, and my boy Shane lives in Boulder, Colorado. It's about an hour and a half from Copper Mountain. I was going to meet up with him and some other friends, Bree included, to partake in absolute shenanigans for New Year's. But then the county caught on fire. Literally the entire thing just caught on fire. So we never met up and my trip abruptly ended and I drove back home. That just goes to show that things don't always go according to plan, but thank you to my family for the trip and I'm glad we got to spend time at home for the holidays. Rocky Mountain High. A simple thing cannot comprehend Why they try to tear the mountains down To bring in a couple more More people, more scars upon the land In the Colorado Rocky Mountain High Rocky Mountain High 